Hey everyone, here's a little song I made up. Oh, why does everyone love Frozen? I really don't understand why. Cause every time I hear those songs and people sing along, I want to stab them in the eye. I'm Jason Legowski and this is my vlogity 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 vlog. With a lot of vlogities at the end. What is the deal with Frozen? This movie has been out for a year and a half now. So finally after people literally giving me copies to watch, shameless advertisement, shameless advertisement. I finally, finally decided to watch this movie. So let's recap, let's recap, let's recap this story. Let's recap. I don't know how to speak or make sign language. I probably just told some deaf person to fuck off. I don't know. All right, so unless you've been living under a rock or on a desert island for the past year and a half, you've heard of Disney's Frozen. Anna is the nice, sweet, respectable younger sister who loves life and doesn't know what the fuck is going on half the time. And Elsa is the responsible older sister with a giant stick up her ass. But the twist is that Elsa has a secret. Elsa has phenomenal cosmic powers space. I'm sorry, I thought about a better movie for just a second. There's a lot of different reasons why this movie doesn't really do it for me. But in order to save time, here are the top three reasons why I don't like Disney's Frozen. <sighs> Elsa's powers. This actually is really interesting. Disney has never done a movie where one of their main characters, their princesses, or street urchins, street rats, riff raff, street rat. I need to get Aladdin off my brain. She has these really interesting ice powers. Throughout the movie, she freezes things, she makes clothing appear, she builds architecture, she causes things to come to freaking life. One of the most maddening things about this is that her powers come from nowhere. The idea of her having powers is very interesting, but they're never explained and it makes no sense. It's never part of the story. It's just, I have powers and I hate them in a world that fears me. This is, this is seriously the X-Men. Every other major story where a character has to deal with powers have some sort of reason that tries to make us identify with them. Harry Potter, born a wizard, the X-Men, born mutants, Kanye West, dropped on his head as a child. They all have origin stories that make sense and make us identify with them. She just gets powers, willy-nilly, no explanation. There's something with trolls. Papa Smurf troll, I guess, comes out of the woodwork and says, you must learn to control your powers. You must learn to control it. Seriously, what are they supposed to do? Is she a witch? Is she a mutant? What? You just can't introduce this kind of stuff without any explanation. Expect us all to buy that. <laughs> Do you want some candy? What was that? Hmm. Are those kids dead? Anyway. Okay, so maybe you're saying, hey Jason, nice hat by the way. You're missing the whole point. The story is not about her powers, it's about the relationship between the two sisters and what they have to go through to rule the kingdom. All right, that leads me to my second problem with the movie. The story is only half-baked. There's a lot of things that just make no sense about this story. In no particular order, why do her powers need to be kept such a secret? Why is it important that Anna not know about her sister's powers even when she's an adult and should know better? Who the heck builds these parents' boats? Who was ruling the kingdom between the time of the king and queen's death and Elsa's coronation? Did she expect to just live in that freaking ice palace forever? If gloves stop her powers, why doesn't she just wear them all the time and be done with it? <clears throat> Your Majesty. Well, that guy's a dick. I know, my liege, that I am your sworn subject and you are my queen. Take off the gloves! All they wanted were some pretty visuals, a bunch of catchy songs, and some little moral to tack on at the end. <sighs> Number three, and this is a big one. The villain has no motivation and he comes out of freaking nowhere. This guy... I don't even remember his name at the moment. Bolshevik? I'm just gonna call him Bolshevik. You don't even know what a Bolshevik is. Look it up. So Bolshevik here, he comes in, he's this really nice guy. He's kind and gentle and he's happy and he's polite. And then, surprise, he's evil! No, no, no. If you're going to have a big reveal of a villain, you need to be able to look back and see, ah, oh, some foreshadowing. Kind of like The Sixth Sense. Big shockers in the end, Bruce Willis is dead. Spoiler alert, sorry. But when you look back over the movie again, you can see the setup. So it makes sense when the reveal happens. When Bolshevik finally reveals himself to be the evil guy, your, your reaction is not, oh my god, Gosh, it's what the f Just imagine if all our stories were like that. 
Ready at home. Oh, so how was work today? Chasing up those Phoebe in sales, but you know, I got it in the end. Oh, you? <laughs> how was your day? Oh, you know, my Jean talked to me. She was putting new flooring in the kitchen. Isn't that fabulous? <laughs> But, you know, I did get the baby in bed early, so That's I made good. your favorite blueberry muffin. Oh, I love blueberry muffins. I know you do. <laughs> that escalated really quickly. Some of you may have noticed that I haven't mentioned this guy yet. I'm just going to leave this here and take that as you will. And honestly, I don't think it's that bad of a movie. It's a kid's movie, but that is my biggest problem with it. It's not just a kid's movie, it's a Disney movie. And the best Disney movies work on all levels. It's a decent movie, but Disney can do way better than that. So what do you think? What's your favorite Disney movie? Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear what you think. Now if you'll excuse me, I've just heard that Disney plans to make Frozen 2, so I need to prepare for this. Should have filled it with water. Ugh.